All right, welcome back. Thanks for logging on and tuning in. If you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe. That way you can keep coming back over and over to hang with us and our wonderfully talented and creative guests in the arts and entertainment world. I'm Allison Murray, and right now we're at uh, the Embassy Suites in uh, Syracuse, New York for the Intuitive Expose hosted by Pam Dutton. And we are hanging with intuitive healer, Laura Raposo, Raposo Hackney. Hackney. Thank you so much for hanging with us. Thank you. So tell us about your gift. What, what do you do? Are you natural born um, intuitive? I think I was a natural born intuitive, though I did not know that at okay. the time. And about 32 years ago, I went to school uh, to become a massage therapist. Oh. I knew I wanted to help people. Um, and I was born wanting to help people. So I think that's what started me. Okay. And then I found, ironically, that um, some of the energy healing and stuff that in my younger days I thought was just kind of hoodoo voodoo or whatever. <laughs> um, now I'm the biggest one. So that's, that's, that's where I am. So I went from. Um, Massage, the sports massage, the trying to understand the body, to a lot of energy work, but especially cranial sacral therapy, um, okay. where I feel like I connect with much higher realms and I can feel people's hearts and I can kind of feel what's going on in their head and I can feel where they're not congruent. Okay. And so whether I do readings, um, mostly I consider myself more as a healer who um, can put you on my table and with a million different modalities just feel like what's, what's right for you. Okay. Um. Does your gift, do you think, affect your everyday life or not really? Because like um, intuitive means a lot of different things. So what kind of intuitive? Like um, I know you are a healer, but do you do other things? Are you a card reader anything like that? Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay. So does that affect you? I mean, um, are you a medium as well? That's what I mean by when I say, does, does that affect your life every day? Can um, you shut it down? <clears throat> I have a hard time shutting it down, especially if it's very heart connected. Um, but you do have your ways. And I live in the country which is helpful to me. Yeah, um, and I tend to work with people one-on-one, -on -one, though I teach a lot. Um, I teach spiritual development, intuitive healing, um, energy as medicine, psychic development, uh, so a little bit of everything. But my passion is definitely to help people become who they fully are and who they really are. Okay, so more like a, a guide, a guidance type thing. So if yes. I came to you and said my life is a mess and I don't know what direction I'm supposed to go, <laughs> you help me do that. It's kind of figure out my path. I do, um, and I, I I'm reading you a little bit right now. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Just what you what wanted. What are you seeing? <laughs> so I can feel the pull towards your heart. So in your particular case, you know, I, I would have you close your eyes and bring your consciousness towards your heart and start letting the volume come up on that a little bit more. Um, in the thinking, just turn the volume down a little bit. Oh, so it's really just You are about very balance. in tune to that. Oh, uh, she's right on, peeps. <laughs> <laughs> I do need to do that a little bit more. Um, so how long have you been, um, oh, 30 years? Yes. Yeah, a little years. over 30 years, yeah. Wow. Um, why did you decide to pursue this is a career, per se, once you uh, accepted yes. of well, what your gift. I'm going to be really honest. Mm -hmm. um, I think our energies are changing um, on Earth. I was born as an empath, um, and I 
I wasn't great at school and I had learning disabilities, but they didn't know what that was at the time. And so it was kind of kept a secret. I just felt okay. like I wasn't smart. Clearly I was smart, um, yeah. but I, I didn't know because I didn't understand directions a lot of the time. And so I really think that if God had given me more of a left brain, I would have just become a scientist. Ow. But I really <laughs> felt like I was here to learn how to work with my intuition and my feelings. And that's really what changed my life. And then um, as that passion grew, or as I was helping more and more people, it's a, such a simple analogy. But mm -hmm. what I tell people is, if you're a tulip, you will never make a good daffodil. So when you're trying to be that daffodil, you're just not going to be as good as the other daffodils because you're <laughs> not a daffodil. So right. so often we're encouraged to be something we're not mm -hmm. or we think that's the best thing when really, if you're a tulip, be the best tulip, be the brightest, be all of you that you can be. That's beautiful. Um, how long does the session last with you usually, typically? Well, if I'm not in the intuitive health fair, <laughs> um, most of my clients do an hour and a half to two hours with me as That's a one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. That's a long time. And um, how do you how do you do your your thing? How do you do what you do during a session? During a session. Um, I greet people, I ask them why they're here, and I always set the intention for their highest good and their highest healing. Um, and then I really let the energy flow, and I follow that. I tell them I work three ways, my 30 plus years experience, what my hands tell me, which I trust more than anything, mm -hmm. um, and what my client tells me. I want them to participate. I don't want to do something to them. Um, what I'm doing is trying to create a connection so that we can help balance the systems so they're all working together in a good way, whether that be physically, emotionally, mentally, or spiritually. Very good. And what do you hope that a client takes away from a session with you? That they feel fuller, brighter, um, not just hope, but excitement to be who they are. That must take a couple of sessions, though. <laughs> <laughs> Do, or do people leave like feeling? <laughs> I don't know, you know, because I don't know. I probably would need a couple to to really feel the way you should feel about yourself. Well, using the word should, <laughs> and I'm not into like that, you know, like oh, don't just say that word, but. I, I would say sometimes it takes practice, and if you have really bad habits, um, yeah. sometimes it takes a little bit longer. But I do feel when you really connect with somebody to their soul, their spirit, you can kind of feel it, mm -hmm. and it, it excites you. You know, it's like, ooh, somebody's getting a part of me, or for some reason, I really um, like this. Um, and do you edit this? <laughs> no, he does not. <laughs> I've had a lot of tragedy in my life in the last wow. few years. Um, which I thought my life was rough before and that I survived that. And that's what helped me be good at what I do. Um, but so I'm, life experience too, you kind of bring into your... It has. Thing. That's and I, good. I think that. Because um, you can relate to people and what they're going through. That that's does right. help. And people will often say to me, well, I haven't been through anything like what you've been through. And I'm like, pain is pain. Yeah. You know, I think most of us, especially if we're on a healing path, um, we've had to find a way to. F to want to go forward mm -hmm. and to heal and to forgive or accept. Um, so, and I can relate. So, you know, I lost 
Well, I lost my mom and my dad and my son um, since 2016. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, and my dog. Oh and my it goes God. on and on. But, um, oh. That was really hard, but oh it's... Oh my God. Um, I remember to look for the light, and for a little while, I forgot where it was, mm -hmm. <laughs> but I still oh, knew to look for it. Um, and um, places like this in the Intuitive Expo are just filled with phenomenal people. Yes, um, I, I agree. There's so much positive energy around. There is. Um, so what do you want the public to know about you? Hmm. What I would like people to know is that I don't fake my optimism and I am clear when I'm hurt and when I'm angry and all those things. But my my son was run over and killed and we built a pond that's a, like a over an acre sized pond that is called Mike's Pond. And I really believe that it will be a healing sanctuary someday. Um, and we're already doing things to help keep his energy alive and mm -hmm. his memory alive. Beautiful. He was a hunter and a fisherman, and as they would call me, a tree hugger. Um, so you would think that was diverse. <laughs> um, but there's room for all of it, and that's part of what Aww. my boys have taught me. So, um, What I want people that's to so know beautiful. is I want the world to be the best it can be, and I want us to be that. And, it's okay to be human too. Yes. <laughs> yes. So where can people find you or follow you, make appointments with you? I'm on the outskirts of Casanova, New York, in a small town called Nelson. Mm -hmm. uh, I work by appointment. You can find me on Facebook, Laura Raposo Hackney, Intuitive Body Work. Uh, should I give my phone number too? No. <laughs> Go to Facebook. <laughs> Go to Facebook. Um, yeah, so it's by appointment. And also for classes, I'm starting a bunch of new series that actually start Tuesdays. And I just love to say, like, being able to do, I call it refresh your spirit. And it's just a group of people getting together, usually women. And we do little exercises that remind us how great we are, just who we are. Oh, that's fantastic. And do you post, um, like, um, events or classes that you're going to be holding on your Facebook? I am starting to do that. I okay. am technologically a little bit, you know. Yeah, I slow. know. It's hard. I need I a son too. who will do it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Harry, we got time for a game. We like to play games on this show. Okay. Laura. I'm going to try a new game because I've never played before. It's called The Great Debate. And one of our um, guests actually made this game for me. He's the creator, Dave Ferguson. So I've never played. Basically, I guess what you do is um, pick a card, read the question, and then debate why your answer is the best. I don't know. We're going to give it a try. Let's give it a try, Dave, just for you. <laughs> okay. So you pick a card. Okay. Should I go first and yes, break the ice? Yes, Yep. I got, should income tax be set? Flat tax or tax levels? I think, personally, flat tax. <laughs> <laughs> Just cross the board, flat tax. Why go, why be on a tier? Nobody, you know, I don't feel anybody is better than anybody or just because you make more money than I do, you that should you should less be taxes. less taxed or more taxed. <laughs> I don't know, I'm gonna go with flat tax. What do you think? I'm thinking I can't argue or debate <laughs> that subject with you. <laughs> Very good. I don't know if I'm playing this the right way, but I hope so. What's yours? <laughs> And trades work really well, too. <laughs> Though probably the government wouldn't like that. Okay. Mine is voting. All citizens over 18, only people who pay taxes. Uh, that's a good one. What do you think? Well, I also see on the card it says person with most facial hair. <laughs> I'm not sure how that connects. I don't um, know. I I would say um, 
That's a tough one for me because I don't vote. I'm not a registered voter. I'm not political. I don't. So that would be a, that's a hard one. I'm going to say over 18. If you if you choose to. If you choose to. If, if you don't know what you're talking about and you haven't really researched it at all, I would understand why you wouldn't vote. Yeah. And though I don't think you're fully developed at that age, any of us who've had children or have been yes. through those ages That's true. knows there's a lot more growing. But you still count and I know I would I want know you to and vote. I and I have to agree with that. Every vote counts. But I think I don't vote because what if I vote for the wrong person? <laughs> How is that possible? I don't know. Well, we know in this case because there's a little bit. I just of that, don't. I, I guess I don't want that responsibility. I don't know. So that I will debate with it. I am considering an honor. I it am it glad is. I agree. that there was a time when women could not vote, and I am so thankful that we have that choice. Yeah, we've now. evolved. Yes. We've evolved. <laughs> but uh, uh, and I think again, if you don't know. It, if you're not comfortable with what the choice is, I, I think we're all uncomfortable, but it is an honor and it is part of how our system works. Yes. That our voice counts. I agree. I do agree. <laughs> well, guys, it's been a blast hanging with Laura today. I am Allison Murray, but before we go, we would like to give a very special thank you to our partners at Krypton Radio out of LA, Famous Faces and Funnies, Off the Chain Radio with Yvonne Mason, Space Coast Comics, Asylum Convention Entertainment Services with Heather Reed, Embellish FX out of Orlando, Florida, Celestial Healings out of Liverpool, New York. Uh, without these guys, we couldn't do what we do. These are the folks that share our videos all over the World Wide Web, and we hope you will too. Don't forget get to hit that like button, leave a comment, and let us know what you think of today's show and our guest. You can also check our guest links below. Remember to subscribe, log on, and stay tuned to see who we're hanging with next. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs>